Hello everyone, welcome back to Minecraft, episode 21. In the last episode, we completely finished this outer wall of our base, and it is looking very nice. Now, I have some more plans for this in the future, but I think for now we are going to lay off the work on the base, especially because we are in the process of creating a new gaming district where basically we all create mini games for each other to play. And I think it's going to be pretty cool. And in this episode, I am going to start work on my idea for a game. And I'm probably not going to finish in this episode because it is going to require quite a bit of work, but I am going to see how far I can get. Now here is the path that leads over there, I need to take care of this guy. Oh, there's Illinois Jones, <laughs> he's going over there now too. I'm pretty sure he's making a game over there. Yeah, that's his game that he's working on. Um, and. Over here is my plot that I have designated for my game that I'm going to be making. And as you can see, it's a pretty big plot. And for the past uh, kind of a while, I have been having plans to make this sort of game. And I have started working on the redstone components in my creative world. But before I show you that, I want to show I want to explain to you how this game is going to work. So, this isn't going to be a traditional mini game. It is going to be kind of like a game show in the regard that you answer questions and yeah, it's like three people competing against each other to answer questions. Basically what's going to happen is there's going to be qu a question that I ask the contestants that could have very similar responses. For example, which of these numbers is the biggest? And then the options that they could choose from are 7, 8, and 9. Now they're going to be a lot harder than that, but that's just an example. Some of these questions are going to be related to actually my stats in Minecraft, like the amount of a certain block that I placed. So, um, right, man? Oh no. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Oh. Anyway, I got really distracted. Like I was saying, there's gonna be some questions that are about my Minecraft stats, other questions about general Minecraft stuff, and some questions about just general knowledge. Above each player, there's gonna be three lights, and all these lights are gonna start off in the off position, but each time someone answers a question incorrectly, they're gonna get a light turned on above them. and. Once they have all three lights on, the place they're going to be sitting at is going to drop and they're going to fall. But they still have a chance. They're going to get sent up into a final chamber right here where they're going to answer one more question. And this question is going to be in the exact same category as the last one they got wrong, except they're going to have completely different answers that they have to choose from. And if they get this one right, they're safe. They still are at one remaining incorrect answer, but they'll be safe. If they get it wrong, however, they're going to be sent into a different chute, some sort of drain-like thing. They're going to slide down and fall into this ravine, and I might have like lava at the bottom too. <laughs> Just, I don't know, for added effect. I, I have this whole space designated. This is going to be like the main room area, and I don't really know what this space is going to be yet. Maybe just like some redstone stuff, and I'm going to need some space back here for redstone. Because, yeah, as I've seen in my creative testing world, it uses quite a bit of redstone. And it's Illinois Jones. 
I'm gonna actually check out his mini game. Let's see what it's about. He's done. Wait, can we play? Can we play right now? Give me a minute. All right, I'm just gonna see what this game is about. Store stuff. Wait. Oh, I should probably read this book. Welcome to Hopper Ball. This is a two-player game. One player has a diamond sword and is trying to defend the hopper by killing the other player. The other player takes the 32 hopper balls and tries to throw as many as they can into the hopper. After the second player dies or runs out of hopper balls, you then will switch positions. Whoever gets the most points wins. The player with the hopper balls is allowed to punch the other player. Neither player is allowed to bring anything other than what is provided. Have a good time and know that you will probably lose all of your levels in this game. Except we have keep inventory on so we're not going to die. <laughs> Smiley face. That seems like a pretty good idea. Alright, we're going to start now. Yes, hello Illinois Jones. You ready? Hello. Yeah, did you read the rules and stuff? Oh wait, we got to uh, Yeah, yeah I read I read all the rules and stuff. Gotta put all our stuff away. Oh. You just gotta have nothing. Absolutely nothing. Wow. I'm completely naked. This is the first time this has happened to me in a while. All okay. Right. Do you who's wanna, gonna, do you who's wanna be start? the murderer first? Or do you wanna be the... Do we... Hopper ball guy first? Is there only gonna be one round of each? Uh, we can do multiple rounds. We can do as many rounds as we want. Okay. So you Let's just by do the a way. couple. Oh yeah, yeah. Um. Uh, I'll start with the sword. Okay. Uh, so here, just, just yeah. I set my spawn. See how long it takes to kill me. Oh. Yeah, two hits. Uh, that's. It's kind of. That's kind of. Maybe too good. maybe stone sword. Do you have any stone? Um. Um, can you make a maybe even a wooden sword actually I'll make a couple because yeah they break fast they break yeah uh, I'll just make three for now so you might want to get some food no 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 because they're going to be quick games alright I'll take this sword you have the hopper balls yeah okay okay so as soon as I step past this line it starts yeah Oh. Yes, yes. Uh, no. Okay. How many did you get in? Um, you, got, you got eight of them. Where did the rest go? Not. Uh, I, I have 23 in my inventory. Oh, all right. All right, so that was, yeah, that was pretty cool. You got eight. One of, the, one of these fell outside. So yeah, your score was eight. But we got to sleep. Sleep. Got it. Okay. Now All we right. switch. No. 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 Getting a lot of them in. They're not. They're not going in. Got. Oh, I got twenty-two. No fair. You. You made this game. You're better. I. Hey. I, I, I. That's. That doesn't mean anything. Okay. I got the strats now. Ready? No, 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 no. Okay. You got six. <laughs> Oop, we go. Go, 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 go. Okay, how many did I get? You got ten. Yay, I did it. <laughs> No fair, you're too okay. good at this. Alright, I have 20 in my inventory. Alright, that means I win! Now I gotta edit this book, but I already signed it, so... <laughs> Wait, why do you have to edit the book? I said diamond sword. Oh. Uh... It's, it's fine. Alright. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, that was fun. Well, that was a fun time. Anyway... Back to my own minigame stuff. So here we are in my testing world, and this was my first design for how the interior would be of 
this game that I'm making. And now this this wasn't the final design. That that's the final design. But um, I think this is what I'm gonna go for for the walls and floor and general color scheme. Um, but I realized that this podium like thing right here it was way too small for the redstone that I would like to do behind here. So then I made this a little bit wider and um as you can see the redstone is still really compact. I have to fit three of these in each segment. But um it does work exactly how I intended it to, which is pretty cool because it's pretty complex redstone. One thing that I would have never thought I would ever do in redstone is use pumpkin pie and a composter. Um, and I, I hooked it up to this comparator and um, oh it looks like it needs to be uh, done one more. So before I start I need to pre-fill that up twice, and what this button press does is it fills this up, uh, it fills the composter up once, and you can see the redstone signal now goes to here because each time this is filled up, the uh, signal strength from this comparator is increased by one. So we have three different uh, pistons right here connected up to redstone blocks, and uh, each one is separated by one redstone dust, so each time it, the composter is filled further past the point that I am at right now, one of these will turn on and one of the lamps will, will turn on. So basically what's going to happen is I'm going to be pressing this button when they get a question wrong, and you can see that light turned on. So each time they get a question wrong, this is going to fill up once. As you can see, I'll press it again and it'll turn up again. And as you can see over here, we've got another signal going down. And this signal is going to be, once they get another wrong answer, after these fill up all the way, this floor behind them is going to drop. And then they're going to be transported up into this chamber where they're going to have their final question. And if they get that one right, uh, I still need to figure out a way to transport them back over there, but if they get it wrong, um, I'm going to make a place for them to walk over to their doom. And let me just show you how this works. So the last light's going to turn on, and then the next time I press this button, it should... Wait a second. This redstone's off. Why is the piston still up? Oh, is it because of this redstone block? Oof, that might be an issue. Wait, I think I might have a solution. I could bring this back one and then put a slime block there. And then I need to figure out how I'm going to how I'm going to make this redstone connect up. And this slime block is also going to pull back these other blocks. So I need to make these obsidian. Okay, what I need to do is maybe make redstone right here going like this and then what I can do is take a repeater and put a repeater there and that will allow me to do oh wait actually I might need to do a comparator there we go uh, And then if I, that didn't look good. <laughs> okay, that might be better if I do this. Yeah, that turns off. And then I just need to do that. And it should be good now, hopefully. I'm gonna quickly power this. And then when I take the power out, yep, we're all good. Except for the minecart didn't go all the way. <laughs> Did the minecart just disappear? Oh no, it fell in here. Um, well, I was testing this with a person inside, and it seems like it works with a person inside. So how this part works is once they fall, they're going to land on here. They're going to travel across here. It's going to get pushed, and they're over here.
with a nice view of their failures. And I'm very glad that I was able to figure out my failure and fix it. Now, just to reset it, I need to... Um, I mean, I could do a... I could do different things. I could just... And we're going crazy. We're going crazy. I messed something up. <laughs> Of <laughs> whoops. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. I think it definitely has something to do with that torch. Because when I. Yeah, when I place it back up again, it does that. Uh. Oh, wait. It might be powering this redstone right here. I'm assuming that's why. Okay, so I can go like this and like this. And that should have fixed it. It should be good now, hopefully. Uh looks like it's looks like it's working fine. So that's a pretty cool system now that it all works actually. But I don't think I'm going to be building this portion in Minecraft just yet, mainly because I don't have the resources to do this kind of thing. I think to start, I'm just going to build the outer structure. And I was thinking for a starting level of detail, we could do something like a stone brick base. And then after we're done with that, we can build up with the blackstone bricks. I think this looks pretty cool. I'm definitely going to be adding a lot more detail and texture to make the outside look nice. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good for a basic design. And then like I said before, I'll do this for the interior. I think we've got a pretty good plan for this game thingy that we're doing. Yeah. Blah. I don't know why I'm still doing that. And I just realized how long the video has been going on. So, uh, guess no building for today. But, I do have one more thing in mind. You. Oh. This thing. I must return it. Illinois Jones, if you're watching this, stop watching it because otherwise you'll get spoilers and that's not good. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to hide the rod in some magical place in the middle of nowhere. And what better place to hide it than in the person's base who hasn't been online in, like, a month. Actually, longer than a month. More like two months. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find some place... Why is there wool down here? That's weird. Okay. Anyway. I'm going to find some place around here to put a chest with the rod in it. I might actually even bury it underground or something. Hmm, there's a village over here. I might want to do it over here. I think right here. Right here is a good spot. So I'm just gonna dig down, down, plop a chest, and put it inside. And you might be asking at this point, He's never going to find this. Why are you doing this? Well, the thing is, I'm going to mark down these coordinates that are the exact location of the chest. The chest is right below here. And I'm going to rename this piece of paper, those coordinates, and then put it in a chest right in the middle of his base. So then he's going to be forced to go on this big, long adventure to find this thing. And which way did I go? This is the right way. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so once I rename this paper, I'm going to bring it over to his base. And then he's just going to see it, and he's going to be all like, Whoa, I got to follow this thing. So now I'm just going to rename this paper, and I believe the coordinates were 
2803 and then 65 or something like that. But I have it marked down, so I'll, I'll check. Yeah. All right. Now the last thing to do is drop this off at his base. And I'm going the wrong way. I'm just going to I'm going to put the chest just smack dab in the middle. There we go. Coordinates. And that done. I think that's it for this episode of Minecraft. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, do all those things if you enjoyed the episode. And stay tuned for episodes in the future. But other than that, I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.